Hey, what's going on? It's JMV, of course, the lucky seven for week number six of the NFL and at least three games for the college football schedule coming up tomorrow. Um, let's keep in mind here, this is no secret, the past two weeks inside the lucky seven, outside of a couple of pushes, I've been 11-1. and one. The money needs to go on me. 11-1 and one in the past two weeks and looking to push forward with the games as we follow them. First in college football, Iowa six-point favorites at Indiana. You know how I stand about the Hoosiers. I'd love to see them win. They're not going to win, and if they're not going to win, they're certainly not going to cover. So take the Hawkeyes and Kirk Ferentz, who was on the show yesterday, and lay the six points. Take Iowa for that noon start down in Bloomington coming up tomorrow. How about this for you? Ohio State, 18.5-point favorites at the shoe versus Purdue. Kind of a similar situation with the Boilermakers. In my mind, I don't pick them to win. And even though we're talking 18 and a half points, and that is heavy duty, I don't think the Boilers are going to cover either. So lay the 18 and a half, take Ohio State at home in Columbus coming up tomorrow. And finally, the Red River shootout. That is Oklahoma, the number one team in the nation, a six and a half point favorite against Texas. That game in Dallas at the Texas State Fair. Uh, six and a half points, and the Sooners, and I know that they're number one, and number one probably normally doesn't make it through a situation like this, but take the Sooners and Sam Bradford, lay the six and a half, so I'm taking all the favorites, and I'm laying a ton of points in the three college games, so take the Sooners, lay the six and a half coming up tomorrow. How about NFL week number six on the season? Let's start with Tampa Bay, one and a half point favorites at home versus Carolina. I love Carolina. They're too bad offense. They got Jonathan Stewart. They got D'Angelo Williams. I like that. They're going to run the football, play some defense. So take Carolina, take the point and a half, and take the Panthers to win on the road in Tampa coming up on Sunday. Elsewhere, San Diego, five-point favorites at home versus New England. Boy, you would have to think that San Diego would snap out of it, right? New England's been out west for nearly two weeks now, coming off a win over San Francisco last week. I'm going to go ahead and take the Chargers. I'm apprehensive about this. I'm going to take the Chargers and lay the five coming up at home versus New England on Sunday. Uh, Giants, Cleveland, the Monday night game. Not so sure about this either. This is in Cleveland. The Giants laying seven and a half points. But, you know, honestly, you have Kellen Winslow Jr. going into the hospital for unspecified reasons today. Romeo Cornell and the Browns are absolutely lost right now. So lay the seven and a half and take the favorite New York Giants coming up on Monday night. Meanwhile, Colts, Baltimore. The Colts are four-point favorites at home. Let me go ahead and lay this straight to you right now. This is a must-win situation for the Colts. Not only a must-win situation, this is a must-prove that the Colts belong in the upper echelon of the conversation in the NFL. The Colts, must-win situation. Go ahead and lay the four points and have the Colts finally get the offense going. And you know, a defense can play defense against a team that's not very good offensively like the Baltimore Ravens. So lay the four, take the Colts to win, and more than ever cover that four-point spread coming up on Sunday afternoon at Lucas Oil Stadium. So there you go. The lucky seven for week six of the NFL and the college football Saturday. Again, 11-1 the past couple of weeks, so go ahead and stick with me. We'll continue with the video blogs. We have a great day coming up from Mud Sox later on today. Reggie Wayne's on the show, Melvin Bullitt, Jack Trudeau, Jason Whitlock, and actor Dennis Quaid from The Express also on the show. Next week should be fantastic as well. We're working entourage angles. Eric Gordon next week, Mike Connolly Jr. also next week, Jay Glazer, Marlon Jackson. What we normally do, give you the best in what is to offer around here with local sports in mind. All that and more you can get at WNDE.com inside the Dilger Financial Group Fan Forum. Upload your picks if you want for week six of the NFL and watch for the picks from the head. Picks from the head for this weekend too in football also coming up all right there for you at WNDE.com. Have a great weekend. We'll see you at Mud Sox.